please join me in bowing your heads for the invocation. O oh, holy God, we are gathered together on this high day to celebrate the great accomplishments of these graduates. We thank you for each and every one of them, all of whom are fearfully and wonderfully made. We thank you for their families who champion and sustain them on this journey. We thank you for friends and classmates, for all communities of support and camaraderie. We thank you for teachers, staff, and mentors who provided grace and guidance. We thank you most of all for shepherding these graduates each and every day and for the ways in which you will continue to lead. We praise you for each of these blessings. In your name we pray, amen. You may be seated. I'll be reading our scripture this lovely morning from Matthew chapter 21, verses 11 or 12 and 13. And Jesus went into the temple of God and cast out all of them that sold and bought in the temple and overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that sold doves and said unto them, it is written, my house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. Consecrated Lord to thee. Take my moments and my days. Let them flow in ceaseless praise. Take my hands and let them move at the impulse of thy love. Take my feet and let them be swift and beautiful for thee. Take my voice and let it sing always only for my King. Take my lips and let them be From thee. Take my silver and my gold, not a mite would I withhold. Take my intellect and use every power as thou shalt choose.
members of the faculty and parents, grandparents, family and friends, distinguished guests, and of course, most importantly, today our graduates. It's a real pleasure for me to welcome you to our spring commencement service for the College of Arts and Sciences. This morning we are going to celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates. They've worked hard, they've completed their curricula of study, and today we will confer upon them their degrees and convey to them our very best wishes. It is also our customary a habit at graduation times to recognize individuals who have made extensive contributions to the world of learning, the professions, commerce, national or international understanding, or our church mission. And we have such an individual with us today. And the faculties of the university have voted to recommend her for an honorary doctorate. By conferring this degree, the university gives public recognition to the extraordinary achievements of this candidate. We hold up her life as an example, an inspiration to this year's graduates. She's a person who has exhibited the ideals of Andrews University in an exemplary way. And with that said, it's my distinct pleasure to ask Marianne Louise Atima to come forward and join me up here. And the citation today will be read by uh, Provost Kriston Arthur. Marianne Louise Timo holds a Master of Laws as a member of the Dutch Parliament, a publicist, and an activist. Timo is a party leader of the Party for the Animals in the Dutch Parliament. The party has five seats in this House of Representatives. The Party for the Animals is the first elected political party in the world that does not focus on short-term interests of Western people, but on the importance of the whole planet and all of its inhabitants. Tima studied law at Erasmus University in Rotterdam. Even before she was a student, she felt enormously involved in the fate of animals in our society. After her graduation, in her spare time, she worked as a volunteer for the Dutch Animal Protection Organization. After that, she decided to make a profession protecting animals, and in 2001, became the policy officer at Bunt Von Driven for, for animals. <laughs> this organization is committed to protecting animals and banning the use of fur. In 2004, she became the director of Wacker Deer, the foundation that fights the abolition of industrial farming. In the meantime, at the end of 2002, Timur founded Party for the Ornaments, together with four others in protest against the fact that animal rights and animal welfare are only side issues for the existing green political parties. With the Party for the Animals in Parliament, she wanted to be the pacer in the marathon which will make other parties run faster, work harder for the protection of animals, nature, and the environment. In November of 2006, she was elected to the lower house with her colleague, Esther Owenhand. The Party for the Animals is supported by numerous international opinion leaders, scientists, writers, entrepreneurs, and actors such as John M. Coetzee, Redmond O'Hanlon, Tom Reagan, Will 
Kamilka, and Sir Paul McCartney. In 2017, Timur led another successful election campaign. The party won five seats in the Dutch Parliament, making the party even more influential. The party has a total of 80 seats in regional parliaments, city councils, the Senate, the House of Representatives, and the European Parliament. The Party for the Animals has a sister party in 19 different countries. Marianne also served as legal advisor for different animal protection organizations. She has written five books about the planet-wide vision for the Party of the Animals and has made prize-winning documentaries such as Meet the Truth, which focuses on the meat industry and its impact on climate change. Her most recent documentary, Power Plant, gives a vision of the future of a plant-based diet worldwide. Additionally, she has a bi-weekly blog in 12 languages on the international website of the party. Timu has two daughters and lives with her husband, Ewald Engelin, in Marsen, the Netherlands. And I think Ewald and their seven-year-old daughter are here this morning. Can you please stand and be recognized? She became a Seventh-day Adventist, a member of that church, because of its focus on vegetarianism and the care for the planet as a way of good stewardship. And she was baptized in 2006. For her lifelong commitment to stewardship, integrity, and the development of law, Argus University takes great pleasure in honoring Marianne Louise Tima with the degree Doctor of, Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa. <laughs> Don't run away too soon. <laughs> now, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees as President of Andrews University, and by virtue of the Charter of the University incorporated under the State of Michigan, authorizing this institution to grant degrees, and upon the recommendations of the faculties, I confer on Marianne Louise Tima the degree Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. Now we're going to go to the We also wish to honor one of our faculty members and administrators today for having served here with distinction. Andrews University recognizes significant achievements in the advancement of knowledge and education by Seventh-day Adventist teachers, scholars, and writers by awarding the John Nevins Andrews Medallion. And uh, Provost Kristen Arthur will read the citation for the faculty member and administrator who we have decided will receive this award today. And so it is my pleasure to ask Elaine Thorpe to stand before you.
this morning. The recipient of the John Nevins Andrews Medallion is Elaine Thorpe, whose professionalism and skilled leadership during periods of growth and change have distinguished her among her colleagues. Thorpe earned a BA in English from the University of Maryland in 1977. She then went on to earn a, her master's in English in 1980 and a PhD in modern British literature in 1987 from the same university. Additionally, she did a fellowship at Cambridge University in 1985 and took postdoctoral classes from Georgetown University in 1987. Throughout her career, Thorpe has dedicated her time and efforts to evaluate and improve education. She has served as a high school teacher, a course developer, editor, director of Home Study International, and as an advisory teacher and curriculum committee member at Tacoma Academy. Top also spent years working as the Senior Vice President for Education at Griggs University and Griggs International Academy, and as an adjunct professor at Washington Adventist University, the University of Maryland, and the University of Maryland University College. In 2011, Thor became the interim president of Griggs University and dean of the School of Distance Education at Andrews University. During this time, she played an integral part in supervising the relocation and reestablishment of Griggs University, Griggs International Academy at Andrews University. She was the only individual from leadership at Griggs to physically move to Andrews in 2011, where she continued to serve with distinction. Thorpe has served on many boards at the North American Division and the General Conference. She has served both inside and outside the church in advancing education through input into curriculum, distance education, and accreditation both in Maryland and at Andrews University, her commitment to excellence and accessibility has impacted many students, faculty, and institutions nationally and internationally. Th that impact has reached from kindergarten through to doctoral students. For her dedicated service and significant leadership through all times of change, and transition, the faculty of Andrews University is proud to present to Dr. Elaine Thorpe the John Nevins Andrews Medallion. And now we get to uh, the time for our address, and I don't need to introduce our speaker because our speaker will be our most recent graduate, uh, Dr. Tima. And uh, before she begins to speak, I do have an announcement for those of you who are watching online as we are live streaming, uh, that due to uh, Dr. Tima's public office, we will not be uh, live streaming uh, this part of the graduation service. Uh, as soon as the address is over, we will be live streaming again for the conferral of degrees. Uh, thank you for your understanding. We're now going to move on to something that uh, will legitimatize uh, the, your today, and we are going to invite Dr. Arthur to step forward and introduce the graduates. Madam President, at the appropriate time, Dr. Keith Mattingly, 
Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, will present the kindness to you individually by name. There are 143 undergraduate participants from the College of Arts and Sciences in this ceremony. Two participants are from off-campus locations, and 19 candidates are graduating in absentia. I now invite all of the undergraduate candidates to please stand. Madam President, on behalf of the undergraduate faculties, it is my pleasure to present to you these candidates for degrees. There are 36 participants for graduate degrees from the College of Arts and Sciences. 14 are from off-campus locations, and 37 candidates are graduating in absentia. The Dean of the School of Graduate Studies, Dr. Elaine Thorpe, will make the official statement regarding graduate candidates' qualifications. On behalf of the School of Graduate Studies, <clears throat> I confirm that all candidates to whom degrees will be conferred today have met the standards prescribed by the Graduate Council the College of Arts and Sciences, and their respective graduate degree programs. Provost Arthur, with your consent, I now invite the graduate candidates to stand and join the undergraduate candidates. So please stand, all of you getting graduate degrees. Please stand. Thank you, Dr. Thorpe. President Luxton, on behalf of the Graduate Council, the Dean and faculties of the respective divisions of the College of Arts and Sciences offering graduate programs, and upon the statement of the Dean of the School of Graduate Studies, it is my pleasure to present to you now these candidates for degrees. Thank you, Dr. Arthur. And now these next words are going to be very important. Now, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees as President of Andrews University, and by virtue of the Charter of the University incorporated under the laws of the State of Michigan authorizing this institution to grant degrees, and upon the recommendation of the faculties, I confer on the candidates who have met all requirements of their respective courses of study, the degrees for which they are recommended. And now you are graduated. Please be seated. And now we're going to offer you the opportunity to walk across the stage individually. <laughs> Two comments uh, before, as we start here. First of all, photography. There will be several pictures taken of each individual as they get their diploma today. And so if you're taking personal pictures, we would ask you please not to use flash and to stay out of the way of the official photographers. Uh, second thing is just a reminder that um, just a decorum, we want to celebrate. Let us remember still that we are in a church, so, so let's just keep that balance in mind. And uh, also, uh, very important, we do need to need, clearly need hear the name of every person who crosses the stage. So please respect that too. Thank you very much.
On behalf of the faculty of the College of Arts and Sciences, I welcome all of you to another beautiful day in Southwest Michigan. Our faculty love coming to this, not because they like sitting through a boring service. They come because they like watching their graduates graduate. And so we look forward to all of our graduates graduating and becoming, as Dr. Tima has noted, world changers, right? We have three divisions in our college, as you noticed with the gonfalons that came in, and we will be reading names by division, and at the end of each division, we'll have our applause. The, the Division of Humanities is first. We're looking at candidates for the Bachelor of Arts, and we're looking now for Hannah Gamboa Bakiran Cum Laude. Maria J. Barrios. Shannon Sajung Cho. Alexi Grace Decker, cum laude, and J.N. Andrews Honors Scholar. <laughs> Lisette Orlene Diaz. <laughs> Colin R. Fenwick, magna cum laude. Joshua James Goins. Gina Alethea Gordon. Nathan Leopold Hilton, summa cum laude, and Jan Andrews, honor scholar. Nancy Cardos Moldovan, summa cum laude, and Jan Andrews Honor Scholar. <laughs> Delanea Cuntoria, cum laude, and Jan Andrews Honors Scholar. <laughs> Kelly M. Lorenz, dual degree, Associate of Science and Bachelor of Arts, summa cum laude, and Jan Andrews. Honor Scholar. <laughs> Shayla Maldonado Garcia, dual degree, Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science, cum laude. <laughs> Kevin A. Maldonado, cum laude. <laughs> Benjamin E. Middle. Elijah J. Myung, magna cum laude. <laughs> Jephtha Ndlovu. Cindy Ortega. Ingrid Radulescu, magna cum laude, and J.N. Andrews Honor Scholar. Lorencia M. Robinson.
Jacqueline Elise Viegas, dual degree, Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Arts, summa cum laude. Jonathan Jehun Yoon, magna cum laude. Candidates for the Bachelor of Music, Melody Concordia Muriel Morgan. <laughs> Luis Ricardo Reña Alvarez. <laughs> Candidates for the Bachelor of Science, Gianluca Chicopieri. Claire Victoria Kovrig, summa cum laude. <laughs> Rebecca Ann Keller, cum laude, and Jan Andrews Honor Scholar. <laughs> Matthew Ryan Puckett. Caitlin Marie Rigg. <laughs> Candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Music, Sa Young Kim, magna cum laude. <laughs> Michaela Chani Souza, cum laude. Candidates for the undergraduate degrees conferred December 31, 2018, Vladimir Jacinth. <laughs> Hyung Chung Lee, cum laude. <laughs> Emma Jamie Maba Magbanwa. <laughs> Now, Amy has magna cum laude and Jan Andrews Honor Scholar. <laughs> Anthony Ponterio Jr., cum laude. <laughs> Candidates for the Master of Arts, Carmen Gloria Collins. Reynard Andre Doneski. I don't have a card. Ki Yun Kim. Candidates for the Master of Music, Cleverson Marcos Costa Calanca. <laughs> Jessica Darrell Link. Candidates for the Division of Social Sciences are next. Let's give the hand to our first division. So now we begin the candidates for the Division of Social Sciences. The first degree is Bachelor of Arts, and it's Sarah Ruth Brockett, the Jan Andrews Honors Scholar. Asnet Jade Cooper. <laughs> the 
Jacques Alain Delove. Catherine Nailene Figueroa Nunez. Kasumi Hirata Cum Laude. Leah Simone McGinty. Candidates for the Bachelor of Fine Arts, Clarissa Arua Carbunco. Shekinah Decano. Ellen S. Duvivier, cum laude. Marari Gonzalez, magna cum laude. Kylie Ray Kajiura. Brianna Kittleson, cum laude. Tato Martha Lehoko. Heidi Ramirez Yanez. Jariah A. Richardson. <laughs> Candidates for the Bachelor of Science, Aja Amodao. Sarah Estefan Benavides Fernandez. Martha Brandt. <laughs> Brittany Bird, summa cum laude. Let's go, Brittany! <laughs> Hannah Chung. Diamond S. de Guzman, cum laude. <laughs> Jessica Luis Felicia. <laughs> Talisa Chantal Gonzalez, summa cum laude, and Jane Andrews Honors Scholar. Carolyn B. Goyne, summa cum laude. Hortensia J. Johnson. Yay Rim Kim, magna cum laude. Ho Chun Kwok, magna cum laude. Sebastian Eliu Lafo. Joseph L. Mayer, summa cum laude, and Jan Andrews Honor Scholar.
Annette C. Linda Moschetti. Let me remind the audience that I cannot be heard when I say all of what's on my card. So please let me finish before you start in, okay? <laughs> Nathan Tejung Oak, magna cum laude, and Jan Andrews Honor Scholar. <laughs> Paul Brian Roshman, cum laude, and Jan Andrews Honor Scholar. Nathan Masek Chamba. Christopher David Thomas. Emily Meredith Lynn Cancel. Yeah. Abraham Jeremiah Walayat, Jan Andrews Honor Scholar. <laughs> Nikolai Williams, summa cum laude. <laughs> Morgan Alexandria Winkfield, cum laude, and Jan Andrews Honor Scholar. Candidates for the Bachelor of Social Work, Heidi Byerly. <laughs> Daryl Ezel II, dual degree, Bachelor of Social Work and Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Sri Lanka, George. Ebony Naisha Milliner. <laughs> Ruth Noemi Molina. Mikel Weil. <laughs> Candidates for the undergraduate degrees conferred December 31, 2018, Ivy Maria Cooper. <laughs> Isaac L. Smith, cum laude, and Jan Andrews Honor Scholar. Candidates for the Master of Arts, Liz Jana Dominguez. <laughs> Debbie Ann Patricia Francis. <laughs> Olson Alexis Perry. Gamekis Jaffe Tekla. <laughs> Candidates for the Master of International Development Administration, an off campus program, William Sandad de Souza. Martin Bang. <laughs> Mar 
Patras Yacoub. <laughs> Candidates for the Master of Science in Community and International Development, Philadelphia, Ruth Cadet. <laughs> Joshua Tinotenda, Pazva Kawamba. John Press. <laughs> Candidates for the Master of Social Work, Danielle Ashley Angelakis. <laughs> Jessica Nicole Baim. Jasmine S. Bradley. Okay, give me time on this one. I know there's going to be noise. <laughs> I know Haroni. Haroni Elizabeth Fernandez Gibbs, dual degree, Master of Social Work and Master of Youth and Young Adult Ministry. Cassandra Christine Gonzalez. Christina S. Sledge. Devin Michael Walechka. Candidates for the graduate degrees conferred December 31, 2018, Kimberly Catherine Cruz. <laughs> Antoinette Molet Dawes. Ariel Solis Kaler. <laughs> Elizabeth Bagayogo. Dawit Alimashet Gebra Michael. <laughs> Maybe Garmay Livingstone. <laughs> Rudith Akinyi Miyoma Raburu. That's the total of our social sciences division. Let's give him a hand. We move to the division of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, otherwise known as STEM. We begin with candidates for the associate of science. We have Daryl Ezel, the first. He comes to us from agriculture and landscape design. Candidates for the Bachelor of Science. Sang Yun Timothy An, magna cum laude. Paola Emilia Bayona Roque, summa cum laude.
Raymond Bennett, cum laude. <laughs> Haley Ann Butler, cum laude, and A Jan Andrews Honors Scholar. <laughs> Elizabeth Ann Carpenter. Jesse J. Castang, magna cum laude, and Jan Andrews Honors Scholar. <laughs> Shekinah Duro Dolua Dosunmu, magna cum laude, and Jan Andrews Honors Scholar. <laughs> Deshana G. Edwards. Lucinda Louise Ford, magna cum laude. Thank you very much. Christiane Galos, summa cum laude, and Jen Andrews, honor scholar. Dorothea Galos, summa cum laude, and Jen Andrews, honor scholar. Jesse Michael Gray, dual degree, Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Science in Music, magna cum laude, and Jan Andrews Honor Scholar. Lisa Deborah Hayden. Melissa Hoover. Isabel Huang, summa cum laude, and Jan Andrews Honor Scholar. <laughs> Chelsea Rose Kent, cum laude. <laughs> Samantha Jane Kissinger. Edward Lawson. <laughs> Tae Jun Lee, cum laude, and Jan Andrews Honor Scholar. <laughs> Gergana Marianova Milkova, cum laude, and Jan Andrews Honor Scholar. Annie Melinda Moretta, cum laude. Joel Paya, magna cum laude. Kiama Miracle Richardson. Brenda Melissa Rodriguez, dual degree, major of uh, Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Arts, magna cum laude. <laughs> Jocelyn Maloney Rosenberg, summa cum laude, and Jan Andrews Honor Scholar. Nathaniel Keene Street Courageous, summa cum laude, and Jan Andrews Honor Scholar. <laughs> Gabriella S. Wicaxono, cum laude. <laughs> Gianni Andre Zanata.
Candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Engineering, Trey Anthony Bosfield. John Michael Bryson, summa cum laude. Joshua Cordova. Patrick R. Tchaikovsky, summa cum laude. Carlos Hermeson Polanco, cum laude. Zachary Michael Aaron Hanna. Mark Luke Kent, cum laude. Mateusz D. Krocek, summa cum laude. Leodan Morales, Morales. Jong Jing Park. Davian Theodore Anthony Ross. <laughs> William Noah Rupert Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Zachary Scott for Helly Magna Cum Laude. Candidates for the Bachelor of Technology, Nilejwa George Manonji. <laughs> Candidates for the undergraduate degrees conferred December 31, 2018, Daniel H. Zhang, summa cum laude. Diana Karawa. Our son, Greg Winston Zador, summa cum laude and Jan Andrews Honors Scholar. That concludes our STEM division. Let's give him a hand. I have a, well, a kind of last word here. Uh, I have a charge for the graduates. You'll find it in your uh, programs. And I'd like to leave these thoughts with you. Graduates of Andrews University, you now start a new chapter in your personal and professional life. I would ask you to approach this particular chapter with clarity of purpose and commitment to values and faith that represent Andrews University, your alma mater. As a university, we claim world change is made here. You are now poised to show the truth of that claim. While at this university, you have engaged with your faculty and staff who have chosen to be both Christians and exemplary professionals. They have invited you and your peers to consistently live out your faith with relevance and integrity. They have encouraged you to reach the highest goals academically and professionally. And today I ask you to embrace the opportunities 
and challenges that await you with passion and conviction. Carry with you the best of what you have learned here and use your increased knowledge and skills to add meaningful quality and spiritual significance to the world. You leave here with a degree, but that is certainly not the end of your learning. Continue to seek honestly for the truth. Desire to keep learning more of God's kingdom. Search for opportunities where you can bring freshness, healing, and creativity. Advance your profession with enthusiasm and integrity. Live with warmth, compassion, and energy. With all this, always remember to be still and hear the gentle, guiding whisper of God. So I charge you as graduates of Andrews University to live by these values and ideals. And may the love of God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit go with you always. Congratulations, graduates. <laughs> As your alumni director, I'm here to remind you that you'll always be part of the Andrews family. You've been a student for a few years now, but you'll be an alum for life. Andrews alumni share a strong common bond, the Andrews experience. Your lasting friendships, the opportunities to seek knowledge, affirm your faith, and now to change the world are your lifelong foundation and will be connection to Andrews. So today marks the end of one relationship and the beginning of another. This transition from student to graduate makes you a distinctive partner of the future of Andrews University. Most importantly, your continued involvement will help to shape this university for your children and the generations of students who will follow in your footsteps. Today as you graduate, I encourage you to look back upon your memories of Andrews and to look forward to your new connections as alumni. Andrews University is proud to support a strong alumni network. In fact, alumni are represented in every state and territory of the United States and 177 countries around the world. Finally, in honor of your graduation, the Alumni Association has a special gift for you. Today's graduates will receive a leather folio, like this one, uh, as you walk through the lobby. And now, on behalf of 95,000 alumni around the world, it gives me great pleasure to congratulate you on this graduation today and to welcome you to the Andrews University Alumni Association. You did it. Congratulations. Now I, now I invite everyone to stand and sing the school song. The music can be found on the back page of the program.
please join me in reading the benediction, which can be found on page nine of your program. And now, as we set forth, we commit ourselves to the merciful protection of God, and we specially ask the prayers of the people of God that his blessing may attend us in this sacred work. Amen. Please, re uh, you may be seated for the recessional. Please stand. 